time you're going to be seeing this screen for at least, you know, until a Shadow DLC comes out, guys. <laughs> oh, man. Okay, so what's next? Um, I think all that's left to do is to record the pinball stuff. Sheesh, at 6.43, I said I wanted to do this at 6.30. Well, like, I said I wanted to do it at 6, but I just kept pushing off. Come on, I have stuff to do, but I don't even know how long this pinball's going to take. Okay, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to set this for 20 minutes, and I'm just going to play pinball until the 20 minutes are up. Or at least until I die. Hopefully it's the die part. <laughs> um, but yeah, like, oh, it's the pinball stuff. Also, uh, I'm going to count this as an intro to another thing, because here's the thing. I am going to have this be a start of a video I'm making that's like connected to Sonic and Shadow Generations. Basically, this video is going to fall into the pinball video and it's going to fall into the me getting angry at the game video. So hope you, hopefully you enjoy both. Okay, now let's jump into it. Okay, here's Sonic Generations. Okay, so I want I want to say this again. I'm upset that they didn't let you play Sonic One on here. It's weird because like if you like beat the game, you unlock Sonic One with infinite lives, basically. Like what should happen? Just a show off bit. What should happen is you talk to Omo Chow, or yeah, it's Omo Chow. You talk to Omo Chow. And then, like, you get, like, a Sega Genesis controller in here. And then what you do is you hop up here. I said you hop up here. And then, like, bam, it's right here. Maybe you have to beat, like, the Green Hill Zone here. But I already showed off that Green Hill Zone before. So, like, there's no real, you know, big importance. But, yeah, like, let's do... Casino Night! Yay! That's weird, it's invisible. Can play Oh, now I'm playing music now. Interesting. You can use the pinball here. Use it for the knock Sonic around and go for a high score. Yeah, for whatever reason, it just gave you pinball. They didn't bother making a level. It kind of sucks because, like, I like pinball, but I want a level. Okay, so how do you... Okay, the flippers are bees. Thank you. There you go. Okay. It's nice to have a big pinball machine again, because here's the thing. In Sonic Frontiers, they made a pinball, like, machine. But it was, like, the worst pinball machine in the world. Like... What happened? Oh, okay, there's one. Hopefully I only have like three walls. Oh, yeah. I think I'm allowed to spin dash like three times, but like there's no point to do it now because like the door ain't open. Okay, it should open with one more light. Okay, that's another thing. Come on, door open. Okay, that turned on. Uh, yep, yeah, yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. There we go. Up. That. Ah! Okay. 
There we go. Okay, what do I get? Ooh. Wait, you're gonna drop rings? You're not gonna let me, like, just get those? Ah! Sadly, I don't want to use more spin dashes. Ah! Also, also, I'll bring this up real quick. Um, you get uh, you get only three spin dashes. I wish you got in infinite spin dashes, but you only get like, you know, three. Like, I, I, I pretty much used all my commentary throughout all the other stuff. Like, I want to see Sonic, like, keep going good like this. I want to see, like, you know, uh, more Sonic games. I hope that if, like, you know, this game does well, which is doing... Oh, no! The door opened, but, like, I gotta, like, just crop the right. Don't mess up. I, I was waiting for that thing to open. Go up, go up, go up. Okay, didn't want to go up. Why won't he go up? He, he just refuses to go back up to that top part. Okay, went up. Now he just needs to fall. There we go. Good, Sonic. Okay, where's he going? Uh, Sonic? Where you going, buddy? He just refused to go up that part. Oh, and the door closed. Of course. Oh, we're dead. Yay, we died! <laughs> For once, I'm happy to be having death. I think it's a C-rank animation. Anyway... We still got, like, uh, to go through Modern Sonic. So with Modern Sonic, you just get the boost. Sadly, though, I don't even know how you control it. Because, like, at least with the Spin Dash, you can, like, you know... With the Spin Dash, you can, like, kind of angle where he goes. With the boost, he just goes flying all over the place. I think he goes flying in the direction he's going. So, like, if he's going, like, up, he'll just boost upward. I guess I can talk about this pinball machine. So, for whatever reason, Sega decided to have this be a pre-order bonus. This wasn't in the game. And you know what really sucks? Until Sonic X Shadow... Ah! <laughs> Until Sonic X Shadow Generations came out, you legit... Wait, is there, is there a flipper up there? Hang on a second. Yeah, there's a flipper up there. I didn't notice that. Yeah. Dang it, I missed! <laughs> Until... Uh, oh, dang it, it's so fast! Like, get that quick reaction in it. Ah! There you go! Okay, go up there. Oh, of course, nothing happens. Whoa! Sonic, you okay there, buddy? But yeah, this is a pre-order bonus. So basically, you had to, like... Okay, now up here? This is a pre-order bonus, so you had to pre-order, otherwise you didn't get this. But the sucky thing is, they never made it DLC, except for, I think, the Steam version? So, oh, So... No, no. Wait, can I boost? Yeah. Oh, okay, I died. Yay. But, like, yeah. This was basically lost content for a long time, because... You couldn't, like, you know, access it. 
So yeah, it, it sucks that like it took like until they made Sonic X Shadow Generations to let this be playable. But if I could say something else, I'll say this. I really hope we get, you know, level DLC and skin DLC in the future. Nope, still no game. You know what? I wanna check something. Uh Okay. What was, what, was the, what was the secret thing? Oh, I have the boost. <laughs> Sorry. I remember there was like a secret thing you could do that like took you to a secret museum, but I don't remember what, what the... Here, you know what? I'm gonna do it real quick. We, we got time. Uh, Just let me like look it up real quick. It was like the collection room secret. Let's see if I can find it. Just chill, Sonic. Secrets. Let's see here. It says, hold back on the special button. So, let's see here. What is that on, like, Xbox? There it is! Okay. Like I said, the PS3, but I couldn't find Xbox. Hey! All, all of them are just unlocked. That's cool. You had to, like, punch in a code before. So you, yeah, you just get to see statues of all the characters, the enemies, models and stuff. See? They even have the sign actually be detailed. You can see classic Sonic Eggman. Sally, so yeah, there's nothing else in here. That's cool. Like you have all the characters, the enemies. I don't remember if it's like I don't remember if this is like what the model looked like, but like you had the punching codes to actually get these. Also, I always find it weird that like we only get like classic Sonic and Tails. We never get to see like Amy, Knuckles, like they're just not there. Yeah, we get the, we get the friends, we get Omo Chow, we get the Eggmans, we get all these guys. For some reason, we get Jet. Like, I didn't notice that while walking. Like, why is Jet here? Why does he have a model? He's not even in the game. I mean, there's Sonic, like, there's Sonic, like, uh, uh, no, no, not rivals, riders. There's Sonic Riders music in this game, but Jet himself is, like, you know, not in it. But yeah. Hey, they have Chip, too! That's interesting. They have a Chip model. They went out of their way to make Chip. I wonder if they're supposed to show up at one point. Like, were Jet and Chip intended to show up? But yeah, like, look, every enemy in the game. Like, I've killed all of them. Like, every, like everything in here shows up in the game at one point. But, like, Jet and Chip don't. That's interesting. Okay, well, that's all I wanted to show, because, like... I figured, hey, why not? Like, <clears throat> we got like some time to kill before I actually have to end the video. So yeah, that was the Casino Night Zone. I always like the description. They always, they always like to say he's like the wind. He's always on the move, which really fits his character, because, like, I remember, like, um, I remember, uh, how do I explain this? Hmm, I remember in something. I, re I remember, like, uh, you know, a lot of stuff. They have, like, you know, Sonic run away to, to his, like, next adventure. He does it, like, in Sonic Heroes. He does it, like, in Sonic Forces. He does it, like, in, um... 
Sonic uh, Advance 2, where he just, he's just like, well, time to run off to my next adventure. Like, he's always on the move. I don't know, I always like that about Sonic. He's just like, yay, time for my next adventure. Wait a minute, have I? Oh, wait, okay, I, I, I was thinking to myself, like, wait, like, did I, like, unlock everything? No. These are, like, all the, these, these are, like, all the, ooh, that's a cool looking green hill. But, like, yeah, these are all just, like, what I unlocked while just playing the game. Huh. Interesting. So, I guess at some point, there was supposed to be, like, a cold, like, level. Because, like, we, spoiler alert to no, to anyone who has never seen Sonic Heroes, we never got, like, a, frozen level, yet we have this piece of concept art that shows like a freezer freezing Sonic. There's no point in that game where you get frozen. So, yeah, that's interesting. Here are all the cutscenes, but like, they don't change the models, which I found was weird because they said some would change. Anyway, I'm, I'm, I'm yammering on. How long is this video going to last for? Oh, time to stop. <laughs> okay, well, I'm gonna call it a part, guys. So remember, let's subscribe, hit the notify, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.